In this uh, lecture, we're going to talk about Commvault logs. Specifically, uh, we're just going to talk about going over and troubleshooting logs, right, roughly. And um, so the first thing's first, right? We need to actually look at the logs. Where are they located, right? So all, every log in the Commvault, every single log everywhere, right? Um, it's all in one location. It's at your E drive, C drive, wherever you put your ComServe. So it's going to be in the C drive. It's going to be under program files or program uh, 86 under the Commvault folder folder and it's under the content store or whatever you have and then um, um, it's going to be um, in base excuse me and then inside base you're going to see um, a folder called logs um, called logs maybe I went too far one second so I think it's, go back one, oh here it is, yeah. So the content store, it's called um, log files. So these are all the log files of every thing, every uh, backup, failure you do, uh, whatever it is. It's going to keep a log of it, or success in that matter. So you can do two things. You can either double click on it, no, it's a text file, and you can open it and you can view it and um, just gather data. So you can open it up. Let's see. Let's just make it bigger. Okay. All right. Perfect. Sweet. So to read this, you know, if you're if you're ever sending logs to Commvault and you just scrub them, uh, you would go through here, and um, I think they might have something new with the scrubber part now. I'm not sure. Version 11. But anyway, you can go through here and just like um, send them the logs. You know. But if you if you uh, if you know the logs, if you know how to troubleshoot logs or look at the logs, that's going to really save you a lot of time when talking to Commvault actually on the phone or whatever, right? Um, you know, things to understand are uh, start uh, with the update client. It's going to tell you I'm starting something, I've succeeded in something, um, I've done an action, I've done something. You know, it's going to tell you uh, what it did or or why it failed most of the time. So not always, but most of the time it will. So let's let's show you the actual way how to view them. We'll close this, and um, before we do that, right? Like all of these, uh, again, all these logs are going to tell you some about your your system. I think CM CMV um, CMV CM, CVD. I think it's CVD. Here you go, CVD. CVD. So it talks about the um, Commvault. Well, that's a Commvault log. Like I said, every every log is has a feature or something. So let's actually show you how to actually view all that. So we can backspace one and let's go into the base folder. So base folder has all these awesome little features and tools, right? That Commvault uses. Um, they're all applications. There's what hundreds of them. There's lots of them that do certain things. Um, on your for your Comserve, Commvault does a lot of nice things. So uh, we're actually going to go to GX Tail. So let's type uh, GX GX Tail, right? Okay. So GX Tail is um, enables us to to look at logs, just like I think any tail program will do the same. Uh, like you've ever tailed uh, something, a tail a file or tail a log in Linux, kind of the same thing. And I think it's um, their uh, version. So, uh, so in order to view the logs, you just click on the folder here on the left, open it up, and it already knows where the logs are, right? And let's see, let's open up one that is recent, log, recent log. So let's open up the GX um, DC um, log. What you'll notice about this is that um, depending on what the log is, it's active, meaning it's all doing, um, it's writing data real time. In order to stop that or pause it, you just click on the work offline, click F12, and it stops, stops it. A lot of different features you can you can use here. For instance, let's just go through them. You got file, you can open a log folder, multiple files, um, you can save a log. You can save the content, you can load content, you can create a log file snapshot, you can um, minimize, um, 
most recently used what what have you used recently uh, files you can do uh, edit so you can copy it you can uh, find something find like a, a job ID um, you can do markers you can do marker and filter let's click on marker and filter this is kinda nice you can mark let's say let's mark mark the word 1460 let's type that in there and that's yellow right so let's go job ID 1460 is it 1460 is a job ID sure click OK yeah it's gonna mark it as um, yellow that would be helpful if you're looking for a specific job ID um, and let's actually so let's see okay so back here edit again so we can disable or unclick markers well we just actually go f edit and disable markers I think yeah there we go okay cool so you can have uh, your filters you can filter different uh, let's click on filter and you can filter different process IDs you know let's do 1000 there's no process ID 1000 but it's gonna find it anyway click OK you don't see anything because it's not here right uh, we just go to edit again and we'll do disable filter okay those are just some of the cool actually things right so yeah um, <laughs> add selected so you can select something like for instance I I select this and I go uh, enable selected text to filter okay maybe that was a bad um, maybe that was a, a bad example but uh, yeah so anyway let's click on edit again let's just disable the filter right let's click edit and actually let's go to view so we have tail all disable tailing um, clear the buffer transparency which is kinda nice you have like let's see 50 percent look at that how cool is that right that's so cool right wow that's nice yeah just remembering how to do it and get it back is the key let's do transparency let's go opaque go back to it let's click view and uh, looks like everything is we don't want anything else I mean that's basically what you want to do so options main options you can uh, same thing filter word wrap so word wrap is gonna come in handy for you guys by the way just let's click on word wrap what do you see different you see all these cool things that are that are um, you know within your window basically that's the cool part about that word wrap I mean word wrap is used in in every kind of feature or every kind of um, um, tool so click on um, let's click on inverse colors look at that so if you're like you know one of these per people that uh, likes um, different uh, uh, backgrounds that could benefit you as well options let's do inverse colors again go back to what we had click on tools and um, yeah um, okay right load from LM engine or no let's actually click on uh, regular expression builder okay so this is kind of nice so you can actually um, you can replace a lot of the stuff so express let's see C colon look at that how cool is that right so you can do that with like say D colon right replace there okay how about we just do well how about we just do D actually let's do like that no maybe C yeah cool okay so it took C and replaced it with a D that's kinda nice let's let's do another one so let's do um, if you want to do IP address right let's do 172 dot uh, 16 oh, 172 69 that's weird 172 dot um, 169 sure dot uh, 32 dot one and you want to replace it with uh, 
um, 1.1.1.1 1 .1 1 .1. or whatever 192.168.1.1 1 .1, let's say right your place look at that that's really nice you know that's so nice what a nice tool that is to do to be able to do that yeah that's very cool yeah very very nice uh, very nice feature to do that actually um, you also have an error error lookup you wanted to put an error code in like a Windows OS error really through BSD any type of error code you want to look up you can do that which is really a good feature to have and let's click on okay so you got Windows um, you can range uh, icons your help is what is about GX tail essentially who created it that guy created it okay so let's look at the actual like what you're gonna be actually looking at is a, as a as a convolute admin right let's go to the com serve let's minimize this minimize okay so we're so we're gonna right click on the com serve you're gonna do all t tasks or rather you're gonna go view and you're gonna do job history and we're just gonna check time range say July 1st until now we're gonna actually include uh, advanced we're gonna include um, age data click that okay and then okay okay so here's all of the five uh, excuse me uh, yeah, here is all of the jobs that have run since the 1st of July, basically. And I didn't have many, actually. I didn't run uh, run that many, actually, during that time. At any rate, let's, um, let's click on one. Let's click on something that failed, right, for instance. Let's find this. Okay, double-click on it. What is this, an Oracle database, right? So this is going to tell you the log that well this case is the job manager so if we can go to the, our logs let's see if there's a job manager log there actually oh, actually no let's go to GX tail and do that minimize okay GX tail okay let's go to just logs here on the left let's type what was it um, job policy Okay, job, oh, job manager, sorry. Click on job manager and click W because we wanna make it uh, smaller. And you can literally just like, um, how do we do it here? Let's see, what is job ID? So it's job ID 5405, right? So we go view, no, we go options. Process ID. Let's see. Actually, edit. Then filter. Five four zero five. I think it was. So five four zero five is our process ID. So okay. Let's do that. Click OK. And it only is going to show us process. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more, please jump on to my course, which is, I have two courses. One is at getajobnit.teachable.com, and the other course is on Udemy. It's Learn Backup and Restore with Commvault, Get a High Paying Job. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer. There's some good content there related to this. If you would, could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications? Thank you very much.